You know those moments in tech history that people look back on and say, that's when everything changed. The launch of the iPhone. The release of ChatGPT. Well, buckle up, because we might be about to witness another one of those moments. But before we dive into the chaos and controversy around OpenEye's mysterious new Orion model, let me take you back to a conversation Sam Altman had with Gary last week. This is the first time ever where I felt like we actually know what to do. Like, I think from here to building an AGI will still take a huge amount of work. There are some known unknowns, but I think we basically know what to go, what to go do. And it'll take a while, it'll be hard, but that's tremendously exciting. I also think on the product side, there's more to figure out, but roughly we know what to shoot at and what we want to optimize for. That's a really exciting time. And when you have that clarity, I think you can go pretty fast. Yeah. If you're willing to say, we're going to do these few things, we're going to try to do them very well. And our research path is fairly clear. Our infrastructure path is fairly clear. Our product path is getting clearer. You can orient around that super well. I had been telling people for a while, I thought that the level two to level three jump was going to happen. But then the level three to level four jump was level two to level three was going to happen quickly. And then the level three to level four jump was somehow going to be much harder and require some medium sized or larger new ideas. And that demo and a few others have convinced me that you can get a huge amount of innovation just by using these current models in really creative ways. I think things are going to go a lot faster than people are appreciating right now. What are you excited about in 2025? What's to come? AGI? Yeah. Uh, excited for that? Uh, what am I excited for? Um, we're in a kid. I'm more excited for that than Congratulations. anything I've ever been. Incredible. Yeah, probably that. That's by far That's going to be most, really That's big. the thing I'm like most excited for ever in life. Yeah, it uh, changes your life completely, so. I cannot wait. Well, here's to building that better world for you know, our kids and really hopefully the whole world. So as you can see, Sam is saying they know the path to building AGI, it's clearer than ever. We might even see a baby AGI by as soon as 2025. Now back to the GPT-5 news, The Verge just dropped a bombshell report, and I mean bombshell. OpenEye, the company that brought us chat GPT and GPT-4, is about to release something that could make everything else look like a calculator from the 90s. Let me quote directly from the article. OpenEye plans to launch Orion, its next frontier model, by December, The Verge has learned. But wait, what exactly is Orion? Well, my tech-loving friends, it's not just another update. We're talking about a model that could be up to 100 times more powerful than GPT-4. Let me share some numbers that'll blow your mind. When OpenEye had only completed 20% of Orion's training, it was already matching GPT-4's capabilities. That's like running 20% of a marathon and already being at the finish line. Think about that for a second. GPT-4 already feels like magic to most people. Now multiply that by 100. That's not just an upgrade, that's a whole new game. But here's where things get really interesting, according to The Verge. Unlike the release of OpenEye's last two models, GPT-4 O and O1, Orion won't initially be released widely through ChatGPT. Instead, OpenEye is planning to grant access first to companies it works closely with. Now why would they do this? Let's break it down. The article reveals that Microsoft engineers are already preparing Azure servers for a November launch. That's right, November, they're not even waiting for December. Microsoft and OpenEye's relationship has been. Complicated lately, but this shows they're still deeply connected. Here's where it gets spicy. Sam Altman, OpenEye's CEO, called this news fake news on social media, but then. Plot twist. OpenEye's spokesperson, Nico Felix, said, and I'm quoting directly, we don't have plans to release a model codenamed Orion this year, but we do plan to release a lot of other great technology. Now let's put on our detective hats, because the breadcrumbs are everywhere. Remember this cryptic tweet from Sam Altman? He said he was excited for the winter constellations to rise soon. Winter constellations. Orion. Coincidence? I think not. Even more interesting, The Verge reported, In September, OpenEye researchers threw a happy hour to celebrate finishing training the new model. They're celebrating something big. But what makes this model so special? Let's get a bit technical for a minute. Don't worry, I'll keep it interesting. What we know about Orion, it's reportedly built using data from their O1 model, codenamed Strawberry. It's meant to be combined with other models for even more capability. The end goal? Something that could potentially be AGI. But here's the crazy part. 
This isn't just about making chatbots better. This is about creating something that could potentially think and reason in ways we've never seen before in AI. Oh, and did I mention the drama? Because there's plenty of it. OpenAI recently secured $6.6 billion in funding, pushing its valuation to $157 billion. This new influx will support its development goals, including AGI research, though it comes with a catch. OpenAI must now shift to a for-profit model, aligning more with traditional tech giants and pushing investors to commit fully by limiting their involvement in competitors. Significantly, key leaders CTO Mira Murathi, Chief Research Officer Bob McGrew, and VP of Research Barrett Zoff have left. These departures add to the sense of internal flux just as OpenAI scales up to meet massive, costly ambitions. Let's get real for a second. What does all this actually mean for you? Like, if you're watching this right now, what changes in your life when this drops? So if this thing is really 100 times more powerful than GPT-4, just let that sink in for a sec. We're talking about AI that could actually understand you like a human would, not just spitting out responses, but actually getting the nuance. You know, like imagine asking it to help you with your homework, right? Instead of just giving you an answer, it might actually understand where you're stuck and teach you like a real tutor would. That's crazy. But yeah, we got to keep it real. There's some serious stuff we need to think about too. Like what happens to jobs? What about privacy? I mean, if this thing is as powerful, that's both exciting and kind of scary, right? And check this timing, they're dropping this right around ChatGPT's second birthday. Two years. Can you believe ChatGPT is only two years old? And now we're here. Plus, you got Anthropic and Google scrambling to keep up. The AI wars are getting spicy. Real talk? This could send OpenAI's value through the roof. We're talking billions upon billions. Tech stocks are going to go crazy when this drops. But here's what I really think is going to happen. And screenshot this, by the way, because I want you to come back and roast me in the comments if I'm wrong. One, they're going to drop this in December, but it won't be called Orion. That's just the code name. Two, Microsoft's getting first dibs. I mean, they're already prepping their servers. Three, they're not going to call it GPT-5. Trust me on this one. Four, it's going to be insane, but maybe not quite 100x insane. Five, they're going to roll it out slow. Real slow. Starting with the big blogs. Yo, I actually want to hear what you think about all this. Drop a comment below. What would you even do with an AI this powerful? And what about that Sam Altman tweet about Winter Constellations? Was my man actually dropping hints about Orion? And hey, if you're as hyped about this as I am, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter too, because, you know, I'm going to be all over this story as it develops. For real, though. We might be watching history happen right now. Whether Orion turns out to be everything they say or not, the AI game is changing fast. Stay curious. I'll catch you in the next one.